very special guest, Catherine Moen, and the basic vegan bitch. Oh, we get questions all the time on how often should I eat these treats to not make me gain some weight. Yeah, yeah. so how often should you eat them? You should definitely not be on a daily basis. <laughs> no, no. No. So we have three recipes here, and they're all from our WSLF Facebook group. So thank you to everyone who shared all your recipes on there. And if you haven't joined the group Facebook group yet, Please join us, we'll link, link it below. Link below. So we have frosted sweet potato brownies, delicious oat balls, and frosted covered rice cakes. Can you ladies show me how to make these? Because I don't know what I'm doing in the kitchen. Yeah. So I'd like to thank our friend Soraya for sharing this recipe in our WSLF Facebook group. The ingredients and instructions are down below. We're going to start with two cups of rolled oats, and we're going to blend those in a mini food processor to make oat flour. Now set that aside and we're going to put in two cups of dates and blend them with some water and then add some boiling water to make it into a nice date paste. Half of that is going to go into a food processor to make the brownie base and the other half will save it for the icing. Now we're going to add in our oat flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a cup of cocoa powder, and one cup of steamed sweet potato. And we'll blend that all up. Now we're going to line a baking pan with parchment paper so they come out really nicely and spoon them in there and then use a spoon to pat them down and make them all nice. Now throw them into the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes, but check on them. You don't want them to get too dried out. Then set them aside on a cooling rack and let's get to our frosting. So take our leftover date paste, we're going to add another cup of sweet potato, two tablespoons of soy milk, and four tablespoons of your sweetener of choice. We just tried out this beef free honey, I've never tried it before, it's really interesting, it kind of has an apple-y taste, but it worked great for a sweetener in this, that is a lot of sweetener. And then you're going to blend that up until it's a fine chocolatey consistency, and go ahead and spread that on your cooled brownies. Now also we took a little tahini and a little more beef free honey and swirled it around and made a nice little drizzle out of that. Catherine made them. <laughs> it's all her. And then secondly we have these oat cookies. We made them into some small balls. These oat balls are my own personal recipe. You're going to start with two bananas and smash them up. And one flax egg is a tablespoon of ground flaxseed with a tablespoon of water. Just kind of let them sit for a little minute and gel up and then add that to the banana mixture. And I'm going to put in a little bit of molasses because I know how many people love the molasses because they're getting their iron out of that. Now just a pinch of salt, eh, a little bit too much there, a pinch of cinnamon. And my real secret ingredient is freeze-dried pineapple. This adds a real nice touch of sweetness and keeps them nice and gooey as well. And add in just a little bit of vanilla. You don't even have to measure here, it's just a drop. And now we're going to mix that all together and add our cup of oats. And now we're going to put them into this nice little round donut hole baking pan. And then we dazzled up some rice cakes with some very healthy chocolate frosting. Hold on, hold on, you need to dazzle those a little more. Oh, <laughs> the snap. We have unsweetened, deep fatted coconut. Dang. Uh, yep. Pour some coconut on me. Should I be eating these for breakfast? If you're trying to lose weight, no. No. <laughs> Should I eat these on my birthday? Yes. Absolutely. The whole thing. You can use many of them on your birthday. Valentine's Day, that's coming up. Absolutely. Yeah. Any holiday or special occasion, go to town, celebrate. That's what life's for on those special occasions. What if I consider Saturday and Sunday a celebration? Maybe Saturday yeah, night. Yeah. 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 Friday night, week. Saturday night, Sunday night. Fine, have a treat. It's the weekend. Enjoy yeah. yourself. That's what it's there for. Because yeah. I think that's the bad thing. If you start making this every day, you will just crave more sugar. Even though a whole form sugar is, is a better option, it's still sugar. So a cup of dates has 93 grams of sugar in it. Is that that's something crazy. you should be eating as a full meal? No. No. Is it's that up. something that you, it's You're okay to, to grind it up and put it in this? Can you have for that? For a treat. On yes. a special occasion. On a special yeah. occasion or on the weekend. Got it. It's fine. So I'm going to have this for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> no! No! You're not. Balls. The oat balls are as acceptable for breakfast. Are they not? Yeah, they're made of banana and oats. If you're active.
them and eat beyond your calorie needs, what happens? You, you gain, know what happens. You gain weight, right? You do then. You, you bulk up. You start looking like a big athlete. <laughs> and if that's what you're going, look you're going for, that's awesome. Um, can you guys define active? Like, what is that? Does active mean like going on a walk? Does active mean like running okay, so a few miles a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's if you have an active job where you're standing up walking all day, maybe you go for a jog, like a jog or a walk, you do some weightlifting. And that's on a daily basis? On like a daily basis. Because there's some people that consider active like walk, doing something twice a week or something. So. Yeah, that's so. okay. <laughs> I think normal, normal activity, I would think, is everyone's supposed to be getting 10,000 steps yeah. a day. Yeah. That's just normal activity. Yeah, going, well, going beyond that is... Yeah. I That's when you start yeah. to really make the difference. Yeah, so. walking for 30 minutes a few times a week is not active. You probably should not be having these treats if you're doing that. You should probably keep the whole thing. So treats, get out guys. there, get active, and then get your treat on. No, yeah. Treat yourself. A cookie as a snack. Yeah. yeah. So the frosting on the sweet potato brownie actually makes an amazing topper for this rice cake as well. And or even a pudding. Good. Or a pudding! Yeah. Or you can even freeze that and make ice cream. So these all look really good, but why, if you're going to treat yourself, why not just have like a vegan donut or something, you know? Okay. So you guys, you know it's not about the number on that scale. It's about how you feel inside. I know when I was eating a high sugar diet, I felt like a crazy person. Oh yeah. How, sure, how do you... I wasn't gaining weight. But I felt I felt unstable emotionally, yeah, physically. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get my work done. I was scatterbrained. Lack and, of energy. Yeah, it is. It's like you go way up yeah. just to go crashing down. And, and then you're you just like looking for your next fix. You're like, yeah, it was like, what am I gonna eat next? What am I gonna eat yeah. next? And it was w so. Do these taste as good as not being crazy feels? Yeah, it tastes, it tastes <laughs> good. You shouldn't expect like donut friend or. Well, the thing is, is that if you're coming from a high sugar diet, eating these, you're gonna be like, where's the sugar? Like yeah. it's gonna take you a week, two weeks to adjust. Your body has to, your tongue will, your taste buds will change, mm -hmm. and you'll really enjoy these once you get the sugar out. I of know, diet. like for me, these are so sweet and so yeah. delicious, and I mean these these are my treats and snacks for yeah, my birthday. Sweet. I will be eating these sweet <laughs> potato brownies. I might eat all of them. Which is fine because they're not going to make me gain weight, but I'm not going to eat them every day. We see a lot of people in our group thinking they can eat these every day, but why can't they? Some people can. So, yeah, so it just depends on the person. And okay, guys, so here's the taste the moment test. moment of truth. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I was trying to get your frosting more. I'm most interested in the brownie. What's the story? Mm. Oh my god. It's, it's so very good. good. This mm. is really good. Like I, would, I would probably like put a walnut in it. Yeah, yeah. but These are super sweet and super good. They're very moist. Mmm. Mm. I like it just chewy. Mm. I love this. I yeah. actually love this. It is a little too sweet for me, though. Did you? That's just pineapple. That's it. That little freeze dried pineapple. Yeah, it's pineapple. Really? With That's the banana? it. And the yep. It's so sweet. And flax. And a tiny bit of molasses. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. so be this is so good. Yeah, if you use mm. ripe bananas, it'll turn out mm. very sweet. So if you guys want more healthy treat ideas, definitely check out the WSLF cookbook. The link's below, and we'll also link it above, too. It's, the recipes are awesome. I don't really cook that much, and I was able to make a few of the recipes, so... Whatever, okay. they're so easy. You can make all of them. <laughs> and check out Catherine's channel. She has some awesome vegan athletic tips and tricks and, and tons of awesome recipes oh yeah you got to check out her potato dumplings they're my favorite <laughs> and then of course come check out my channel i did the wslf 30 day challenge so come watch all my videos how'd you do on that and i lost seven pounds which was amazing Ooh, yeah. and i feel so much better okay so make sure to click the bell give this Bring video a bell. thumbs up yeah where's the bell at Next to the subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button. Click that bell. Click or it. ring it. I don't know. Ding-a-ling. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you so much.